don't plan to do it uh, right now. So for the moment, we made the, uh, we have a flash exporter, and then we can uh, improve it better at the end. Okay, so I will show you something fun now. Uh, at the beginning of this year, we were contacted by a Japanese company, and uh, they wanted to publish a multi diffusion in Japan. So we said, yeah, let's do it. So, uh, so we, we started, uh, the, the problem was that uh, it was quite complicated to do because Mortal Diffusion for the moment is programmed in ASCII. So each character is coded on one byte. But in Japanese, each character is coded on two bytes, just like in Polish. So we had to redo a lot of things in Mortal Diffusion and it uh, took us like uh, one and a half months especially for Eve, who had to do to a lot of things like the installer and all the stuff. Uh, and uh, the Japanese did the translation, which is a big translation because there are many, many strings and dialog boxes in Mortal Diffusion. So I can show it to you. Here is the Japanese version, as you can see. It's in Japanese. So the menus. But it's basically the same color. So if I load the game, load. When you load the game in the in the Unicode version, which is the two byte version of uh, strings, you are first ask uh, what the language of the application is, so that we can convert the, the character sets in the proper language. So this one is in French. So you've got. Now, the properties, they're all in Japanese, and the event editor. But as you can see, the, what's inside the product, program stays in the language in which you created it. It's only the conditions and the, and the actions that are converted. Oh, L, I pressed L. <laughs> So this means new condition. <laughs> well, apart from that, it's just the same. All right. So another thing that I've been working on this year is the Blu-ray version. Uh, you might have heard of it. Uh, so you know that the high-def format for home entertainment is Blu-ray. Blu-ray machines are based on Java, so they have a Java uh, engine inside and you can actually make Java program that runs on the machine. So we were contacted by Sonic, who is a uh, big company that sells uh, development tools for the Blu-ray platform, uh, because they heard of uh, Mountain Diffusion and they thought it would be a good way to create application for the, the Blu-ray platform. So uh, they contacted us and I programmed a specific Java runtime for the Blu-ray platform and so now you have a product which is called BD Fusion uh, which is on sale now in uh, the professional market so I'm going to show you how it works and for this product I've been creating uh, some, uh, a few new objects uh, which are quite powerful so basically it's Mountain Diffusion except that the size of the window is 1920 one, uh, by 1080, which is the high-res uh, definition. So it works like that, just the same. I'm going to do the same bouncing ball, bouncing ball. And to build the application, it's just the same, you just build. What you have to do is select the BDMV folder. The BDMV folder is, oh, sorry, I forgot to set the name of the application. Build file name, right. So the names are very strange, it's all based on numbers. So the name of the application is going to be 000.jar. And I will build it into the folder that's going to be on the Blu-ray disk which is called a BDMV folder. Right, so it's done. And now I'm going to launch WinDVD, which is a Blu-ray player.
So there you see. The background of, the, of my application was transparent. So it had a half alpha channel of zero. This is the reason why you see the black behind. So it enables you to create an application that runs in front of a movie. So like menus and stuff like that. So as you can see, it's very simple to create an application. I will show you a uh, few examples of uh, enhanced menus. And look at this, for example, this could be, imagine the menu of your Blu-ray disc like this one. You see, you've got chapter bonuses, and then, yes? Ah, oh, yeah, it's going to be it doesn't work like this. No, I can't. I can't. Uh, you've got the plug. Okay, cool. Well, I'm sorry you cannot see what I'm showing on the, on the screen. Uh, it's an uh, enhanced menu. slow so uh, you cannot have too many too many objects at the same time on the screen you cannot have uh, too many events as well yes so it's very slow so bad it's a bad platform so now I'm going to show you some of the objects I've been creating for the blue way not the blue way version so I create my new application there and I'm going to put it in 50% Okay, so first of all, you've got the buttons because in Blu-ray you do have you do need buttons. So I need to have a Blu-ray menu background, which is the background for all my buttons. Okay, and now I will drop on the frame some Blu-ray menu button. There is one. There is two. There is three. Okay, so each button can be a push button, a checkbox, a radio button. It has got an identifier. Uh, you have a lot of different uh, possibilities to make it appear, disappear, and it can be either some uh, text button like this one, it can be transparent text. It can be made out of an image or it can include animations. So I'm going to use this button, set the ID of 1. This button will have an ID of 2. This button will have an ID of 3. So if I run it, or why only 2? So then you've got, yeah, as you can see, you've got the buttons running, it's automatic. You can make the button appear, so if I check appear and I set the angle to 90%, let's run it. As you can see, you can have the buttons appear and disappear, I will make them disappear as well. And when you press the space key, press keyboard or pressing a key.